Coming up on Sports Desk, we'll check in to see how our fall teams are holding up this year. Plus, we'll update you on the high school construction projects. And we'll give you a closer look at several of our fall sports teams. Sports Desk starts right now. What's up, everyone? We hope you had a great summer. Welcome to Sports Desk, the show that keeps you up to date on all Northern sports. I'm Logan Stewart, and thank you for joining me today. Last year, the fall season faced unexpected circumstances. This season, hopefully we can get back to normal on the field. But before we do that, Northern Burlington High School has been in the process of a major construction project. This has had an impact on athletics on campus, but has resulted in a lot of new and exciting changes. Some of these changes included much needed air conditionings in the gym, updated locker rooms, new tennis courts, and a new athletic training office. We spoke with trainers Miss C and Mrs. Montemore about their new and expanded space. I absolutely love just how clean and new it is and the, all the furniture matches and the private uh, administrative area where we can do work. Um, the windows to the outside, since we've never had windows to the outside before, so that's, to see the sunlight is really, really nice there right now. Yeah, for sure. Just about everything, I think. Mm -hmm. um, the, the biggest is sunlight, uh, which has a completely different impact on your day. Um, the layout, uh, the location. Unfortunately, that's kind of a, a con, is being you know away from the gym, which works well for outdoor sports, mm -hmm. but not necessarily for uh, indoor sports. So that makes things a little, and the locker rooms, so that makes things a little tricky. Uh, but we have a lot more um, luxuries available to us uh, in this space that we didn't have in the old space, mm -hmm. like uh, you know, a proper hand washing sink, uh, our own attached bathroom, um, the the ability to do work and supervise students mm -hmm. in in that separate you know administrative area while they're they're doing their therapeutic exercises. Um, but the ability to access the outside, like bring an injured person straight in the back door is huge, as opposed to having them hop on one foot all through the gym. Uh, the, the amount of square footage that we had, oftentimes we didn't have enough space for uh, student athletes to do their therapy. So they would have a mat in the auxiliary gym and they would lay on the floor on a mat. Or, um, you know, we didn't have enough space for someone to do shoulder rehab. So if we have you know, a TheraBand attached in a doorway, they can't come down and do diagonal patterns without you know, busting the kid who's on the table doing his knee rehab. Uh, so there, there are a lot of issues. Um, privacy, um, not much privacy uh, in that space. Mm -hmm. um, you know, didn't, didn't necessarily accommodate um, the numbers that we get in that after school rush. I think that made it uh, mm -hmm. a lot more difficult and, and again, the, yeah. not oh, being able to see, you know, see the outside or get outside so that you can anticipate the weather. I mean, I can sit at my desk, see lightning, and call the coaches off the field like that, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is something we didn't know, we didn't have before. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited. I'm excited because so. so, we get to use a lot of the uh, weight, ha uh, weight room equipment now, that now we're sending a kid to the weight room and have to come back. Now we can watch them and see it to make sure they're doing it right, too. And it's, I think it's also gonna increase some foot traffic in here, so it's gonna help us build relationships with um, student athletes that maybe would not have come in here. But um, you know, they'll, they'll see us, we'll be more accessible, um, so we'll have an opportunity to connect with them that, that they weren't really doing before. So far, everybody's really excited to get in here. Even alumni we brought back that come for football games, they're like, we wish this was open last year. This was so cool. This, and they're giving us all ideas about stuff to put on the walls. They're, everyone's so far really, really excited. Yeah, overwhelmingly positive. Uh, we're waiting on uh, a, a bit more furniture to come in before we have like our, our real grand opening <laughs> kind of ceremony, our ribbon cutting ceremony for the athletic training room. Uh, and then we'll be in here uh, full speed so it's really just um, you know tying up some loose ends and I think that you, the kids that come in uh, now are are super excited and I think that uh, they feel valued and I think it absolutely impacts their perception of the quality of the healthcare that they're receiving which is super important to me as well so um, I think it's had so far and it's only been 
abbreviated at this point. Mm -hmm. Crazy positive. Like, I'm so grateful. I feel like this space finally reflects the level of um, athletics that Northern Burlington offers, uh, you know, the, the, the values of the community, the values that we place on, on sports and sports medicine. Um, I, I think finally our student athletes are, are you know, getting the, the facility that, that they deserve in time. And that's, I think, what makes me so excited about it is it finally matches the level of care that we've been trying to give them um, but maybe, you know, they didn't perceive, I guess. Boys soccer had an unbeaten season last year going 4-0-2 and, and also making a trip to the playoffs. They lost some key players last year and they will look to rebuild. Nick DeSasio is with soccer captain Ben Farrow. He shared his expectations for this year. Hi, I'm Nick DeSasio and I'm here with Northern Sports Desk. I'm here interviewing varsity soccer captain Ben Farrow and I have a couple questions for you. What are your goals for this season? Well, we're coming off a season where we just lost a bunch of seniors, but I still think we have a really strong squad. I'm hoping to finish with a pretty strong record and hopefully make it into playoffs as well. Okay. Who are your key players this year? We have a lot of key players. We have some players, we have a lot of new players first off that are coming into the season that played JV last year, but we do have a couple of players who do have some experience. Matt Teich, Kulano, uh, Cam Givichkini, and Ryan Tavin are all players who have played up at the highest level before, and I think they're going to compete again this season. Okay, and what is the strategy for success this year? Ooh. I think for the biggest part is uh, we know that we're going to have growing pains, so I think the biggest part is communication. Uh, I know that that might be a little bit of a cliche answer, but the reality is we don't have a lot of players who've played up here before, and the more comfortable we get, the more we talk is going to really lead us to success later down the season. Girls soccer had a tough year going 1-4-2. and two. With a young team and lots of starters returning from last year, they will look to improve their record. Girls tennis went 4-3 and three last season. They made it to the semifinal round in the playoffs. Unfortunately, they will not have a home court to play on this year due to construction. Tyler Ballinger spoke to senior tennis player Prisha Batra on, on how that will affect the team this year and what their goals are for this year. Prisha, how does the team look this year? Uh, well, this year the team looks incredible. Even though we've lost uh, some of our key players and we have been facing some challenges, like we don't have our home courts set up yet, we still are working together as a team and we're getting our wins and we're doing Great. Who would you say your key players are? Um, so I would say our key players is honestly I think our whole team we work really solid together because you know without working as a team we wouldn't really be where we were. But I, I would say our key players would be like our first three singles, which is uh, myself, um, Arya Rajesh, and Anisha Sood. Cool. What are your goals for this season, Prisha? My goal for this season. Honestly, to have our team be RV, which is our rival, it would be like wonderful if we could all get at least one win against them. Boys cross country finished last year going 2-1, and one, and the girls team finished unbeaten at 3-0. With runners returning from last year on both teams, they looked to have another good year. Field hockey went 2-4, and four. they made the playoffs as well. With many players returning, they will look to improve their record and make the playoffs again this year. Girls Volleyball went 6-8 and eight last year. With many players returning from last year, they will look to have a good year. Last season, the Greyhounds had a record of 4-3. and three. They had some key wins against rival schools like Morristown, Heightstown, Steiner, and also taking another Commander's Cup victory against Pemberton. They have many key players returning this year, such as senior Guy Hendrickson, junior Ryan Calario, and Keith Dillett. Junior Ryan Calario joins us right now on Sports Desk. Who are your key players this year? We have a couple key players. We have Guy Hendrickson, our quarterback, uh, Dane McCarthy, one of our key receivers, and uh, safety as well. Josh Albanese, our center, and a uh, defensive tackle. And we have a lot of other players, obviously. Those are just three of the top players we have. What are your expectations this year? Our expectations go to the playoffs, win as many games as possible. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing and keep winning. What goals do you have for, for this year? Like I said, playoffs again. We got to keep winning to make the playoffs, so we have one loss so far, so we just got to win out to so make the playoffs. Mark your calendar on Saturday, October 9th, as the Hounds take on the Allentown Redbirds on homecoming afternoon. 
This game will be streaming live right here on Northern TV. That will do it for this episode of Sports Desk. We will be back for our fall wrap-up and winter preview in November. Stay safe and have a good day. We will see you next time.